Ready for a visit to the George Eastman Museum? Here's what you need to know. Before your visit, please purchase your tickets online in order to have a contact-free experience as you check in. You may print them from home or access them from your phone. And if you'd like a map for your visit, you can print that from home as well or access one using our mobile tour. For your safety and the safety of other visitors and museum staff, don't forget your mask. Parking is available via the East Avenue entrance. Accessible parking is available near the museum main entrance. Use University Ave Drive and follow signs to reserve spaces. Bike racks are available at the main entrance. Follow all posted signs to make your way to the entrance and please practice social distancing while at the museum by staying six feet away from other parties. You'll see reminders throughout the museum and signage indicating areas that are one way. And remember to keep your mask on. If there's a line at the door, we appreciate your patience as we safely welcome all visitors. Our host will greet you and help make a smoother check-in process. Please apply hand sanitizer upon entering the museum. Once your ticket is safely scanned by our visitor services staff, you can fully enjoy the museum. Check out our pop-up shop featuring books, shirts, hats, camera-related gifts, and more. Our coat room is currently closed, so please leave bags and coats either at home or locked in your car. All bathrooms at the museum are limited to one party. Please check before entering. We have three new exhibitions for you to check out, including a history of photography, featuring a selection of photographs that examine how photography has portrayed and fundamentally changed perceptions of women and feminist movements since the mid-1800s. James Welling's choreograph combines images of dance, architecture, and landscape into layers of distinctive, luminous color and prompts associations with bodies in motion. Head down the hall and you'll find gathering clouds photographs from the 19th century and today. Don't forget to take a portrait in our photo spot just outside the gallery. But remember to wear a mask. Gathering Clouds demonstrates the key role that clouds played in the development and reception of photography in the 19th century and pairs these works with contemporary pieces. As you explore the galleries, you'll notice that there are a variety of audio and video stops that you can access using your smartphone or tablet. Open your device's browser Head to eastman.oncell.com to access this content. Gathering Clouds includes not only an audio tour with many of the contemporary artists, but a meteorological tour by Scott Hetzko. You can access these by navigating through the app itself or selecting the keypad at the bottom and entering the number of the stop you want to listen to. Head down the corridor, sticking to the right, and after you walk through our newly restored colonnade, you'll enter the historic mansion. Each room is either one way or limited to a single party. Check the posted signage throughout. Since we are currently not offering docent-led tours of the mansion, we suggest you bring your own device and headphones so you can fully enjoy the audio tour available at eastman.oncell.com. In addition to audio, you can also learn more about the interior design of many of the rooms, stories of the furniture, and more. Remember to always keep at least six feet away from other groups and follow the posted signs. Our discovery room is currently closed, but you can access activities to do at home from our website at eastman.org backslash kids, including instructions on how to make a thaumatrope, a sun print, a flip book, a variety of coloring pages, and an activity packet focused on George Eastman. We hope you enjoy your visit to the museum. See you again soon. Not ready to visit the museum? We're going to continue creating online webinars, videos, and other content to keep you engaged, educated, and excited about the Eastman Museum from home. Visit our website at eastman.org to see what's currently available.